what is going on it is panther breaks 81 here with another video hope you guys are all doing great and while i do have some more 2023 optic football blaster boxes uh these are the purple shock um however the plan was to do the pink parallels and i ordered these about a week ago so the seller did contact me to let me know that it would take him a couple of days to ship it out because he was out of town, unfortunate for me. So eventually he did ship them out and they did come in. They actually came in late. The, the postman was really late today. So when I opened these, uh, when I opened the box and I looked in there, I saw these blaster boxes. But when I looked at the details, it said purple shock parallels, not the pink. So on his, uh, page or his uh, details on eBay, he had the pink parallels. So I specifically searched for the target version and his page came up. So I ordered two blasters and um, of course they are here, but they're not the pink parallels. They are the purple shock. So it looks like I'll be doing the purple shock again, which in a way I am not too upset because I do like the purple shock parallels. But I really wanted to do the pink parallel specifically for this channel. So that way we can, you know, get a good view on the purple shock versus the pink in a way. So I did the purple shock last week, about a week ago. So it has been a week since I posted anything. And like I said uh, in the previous videos that, you know, it's going to get slow. But the truth is, it's really, really extremely hard on my end to get this stuff and I have to order everything because in New York City they do not carry retail um, I do want to say welcome to the new subscribers I appreciate you guys for subscribing um, after I did the uh, purple shock uh, retail uh, last week um, really appreciate the new subscribers welcome appreciate the old subscribers thank you for supporting the channel as always um, I'm just going to get right into it uh, you know, I am a little bit upset about, you know, just not getting the pinks, even though I'm not <laughs> really a, a hundred percent fan of the pinks, but they are pretty nice. And I wanted to do the paint parallel. So I don't know if I'll be able to get them because I can't keep, you know, spending money on stuff. And, and then I get, I get it, but then it's not the exact parallels that I'm, um, that I'm supposed to get. So it is pretty disappointing, but, uh, you know, you guys seen this before, so you already know the details. So we're going to just get into it without further ado. Maybe we'll get some really, really good stuff, but, um, I don't know. I mean, I thought the, the stuff from last, last week was really good. I think I pulled some good stuff and I got a case hit. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get some more good stuff. Plus, my allergies are acting up again, so allergies just decided to creep up on me. Um, special thanks and shout out to Dean for uh, hitting me up to see how my allergies were doing. And uh, that was the day before, so, you know, here's today and, and my allergies are acting up. So, all right, we got a uh, Justin Herbert for that silver. That looks really nice. It's a nice uh, silver. I like the silver uh, hollows, silver or silver hollows, however you call them. <laughs> I like them this year. Um, they they look well. They look good on this uh, particular uh, optic series. I'm not a fan of the uh, silver hollows as much, but um, they do look really nice on these um, optic uh, chrome cars this year. And a Brian Dawkins base. I tell you, it has been such a struggle trying to be able to, you know, get this stuff done and put stuff out and things just backfire on you, you know. So I'm really, uh, really tight about that. So I apologize to you guys out there um, who come to this channel and, and watch me rip stuff. And, you know, I just have a, a you know, an attitude and, you know, plus I'm, my, my allergies are just here once again and it's just like it's like all these things are just getting in the way of me just uh you know uh 
doing you know what I what I love and enjoy to do. But hopefully you guys will enjoy this rip. And um yeah, man, uh <laughs> more purple shock. So let's see. Okay, we got our first purple shock card. So let me uh get from the back from the back. Jack uh Young Blood. Then we have a Parker Washington rated rookie. Matter of fact, it was uh oh, I apologize. I I didn't see this. Uh I pulled a nice Will Levis, so that's cool. Yeah. Peter Skronsky in the back. Uh all right, so Drake London, and then we have a rated rookie of Brenton Strange. Who I actually pulled an auto from in the uh, Zenith rip. So we got a uh, Brenton, Brenton Strange. That nose is leaking of mine. <laughs> Hopefully I won't be uh, sneezing back to back. I had those episodes today. Very annoying. <clears throat> okay, we got a CD Lamb. We got a BJ Olozari for the Purple Shock. And uh, we have a uh, Felix and a Duki Uzama. And we have the uh, Kicker and Adam of Vinatieri. <clears throat> I will say part of me is excited because these are the purple shocks. So I do like that. But on the other half, I had a plan set up to do the pink ones, but this is what happens. Not too happy about that. And I'm really, really disappointed in my district for not having retail sports cards like they used to. I don't know what changed and I still can't find an answer to what would change. And we got a Justin Herbert, which I pulled. Uh, my house insert. I already pulled this one, so I got two of them. And a Christian McCaffrey base. Oh, and I forgot to mention a nice Jordan Love for the Packer pile. Shout out to the Zambi. Um, creating, um, crafting cards, uh, custom made cards. Man, that's very creative. Really, really like uh, the ideas and concepts he's putting together. Um, very great channel. And for those who are new to the channel, you never heard of Jazambi, go check out his channel. It's Jazambi. And, uh, he may end up commenting on his channel, you know, every now and then from time to time. Known him for like over, about over a year. Great guy. Do trades with each other. Um, he saves Panthers for me. I save Packers for him. And it has been great. Ah, so we got a Panther, um, DJ Johnson. For the rated rookie, that looks really nice. And then we have a, a chain reaction of Jalen Hurts. This is my first chain reaction, so that's cool. And then we have a Mike Alstott. All right, I'm probably going to change the background for the uh, purple shock parallel, so I will replace a. Uh, the non purple shot card to fill it up, but all right, we got a Panther, we got Brian Burns, and we have a nice Trent, uh, Trenton Simpson. That's nice, rated rookie, nice purple shot color match. Then we got a Devon A. Chan, uh, Devon A. Chan, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And then we have a Jivon Curse, uh, if I'm spelling, if I'm pronouncing that correct. And um, I do apologize for last week uh, for uh, mispronouncing um, Icky Woods. I said Ike Woods, I believe, and uh, somebody uh, corrected me in the comments. I am familiar with him. I just never seen him play. Um, you know, he's well known for the uh, if 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 you're. If you're into watching a lot of television and you watch commercials like uh, the Geigo commercial, he was in that and uh, he did the shuffle. So I do remember that very well. Matter of fact, I am 
putting a top loader on this. I didn't mean to. I'll do it later on. I just I meant to replace this. I'm I'm <laughs> yapping on and on and on. So let's just concentrate on what I'm supposed to be doing. I'll do the top loading later on after the video. I don't want to take up too much time. All right, we got a Herman Moore for the Lions. And then we have another uh, uh, color match, Zay Flowers. Matter of fact, I was watching Dean's um, Optic Rip, Purple Shock, and he got a Jordan Addison. So I told him that um, I was hoping to pull either a Jordan Addison or a Zay Flowers color match. So I did get a Zay Flowers color match of the Purple Shock. So that's real cool. That is cool. But I did get a um Trent um Trenton Simpson one. So and here we go. We got a Jordan Addison base <laughs> right behind it. Oh, uh, that is funny. And a Dexter Lawrence base. All right, we got four more packs to go, and then it's a wrap. All right, we got a Josh Allen. We got a Devon Witherspoon. Then we have a silver, a Mark Andrews. And we have a Allen Lazard for the base card. All right, moving on. What am I about to get at after? Uh, we got a Bruce Smith. Some old school action. Then we got a Mozzie Smith rookie. Then we have a silver of uh, Jaleel McLaurin, if I'm saying that right, correct. I did pull a number card from the Illusion. So um, this is the silver hollow. So that's nice. And then we have a Austin Eckler for the base. I should be getting, uh, I believe, two more Purple Shot cards. Hopefully, I didn't skip any while I was uh, rambling on. This actually feels a little thick. I feel like a mem card. I feel like we got a mem card, so I'll save that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, so we got a Joe Burrow in our Purple Shot. Oh, shoot, we got another Jameer Gibbs. <laughs> Interesting. Second Jameer Gibbs. And I think Lions Lux got a got a, a, a pull the purple shock Jameer Gibbs too. Matter of fact, yeah, he did. I remember he uh um put in for his team and he got a Jameer Gibbs purple shock, so that's real nice. All right, let me uh take that out and put that there. All right, I did see a car. I don't know if it's an insert or or a case hit. I don't know what that is. All right, we got a Broderick Jones for the Steelers. And this card is a, oh, it's an autograph. Xavier Hutchinson. I was wondering what that was. Wide receiver rookie, Xavier Hutchinson. Oh, it was an autograph. Okay. I didn't know what it was. i never seen it before. Hash marks. So we did get an auto in this one, or this blaster. That is pretty nice. I will definitely put top load that. Seeing this an autograph. All right, okay. All right, and our last pack. And this one's still pretty thick because it got, yep, got our mem card in here. Um, how did I know I would get it? You know, I forgot to mention this. I said, I'm probably going to get a Stetson Bennett. How did I know I get a Stetson Bennett? Stetson Bennett, Purple Shock, ladies and gentlemen. Got to add Stetson Bennett in these cards. And I'm going to go from the back. And we have Aaron Donald. And we have a rookie Anton Harrison in our last card. Rookie Phenom. 
How about it? Another Zay Flowers for the mem. That is nice. Got a blue going on with the purple a little bit. Um, dark colors, not necessarily color match, but they are dark, considered dark colors. So that is pretty nice. Don't have my dick sleeves on me, so this will this will do for now. I think I have a top loader for this. Uh, yes. No, that's the, uh, look like the 50, 50 points. Here we go. I have to change the sleeving uh, next uh, when I get a chance. All right, so I will say good news is we did get a mem card and we got an autograph. <clears throat> so that is pretty cool. Um, I do feel good about that. I just wish they would have paint parallels. You know, definitely uh, messed up my plans there, you know. And once again, if if if, if my area had, if, if, if they sell retail like they used to, then I wouldn't have to go through all this craziness. I have nothing but Target stores. And you mean to tell me they, they don't sell sports cars in my area? And I've been trying to find information on why is that? Why do I have to go to a seller or a source and pay almost double for these things or double just to get my hands on these things? Um, doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I think it's unfair for those who are collectors like myself. And I know there are collectors who who, um, who buy sports cars or any type of cards, rather it's comic cards or, you know, Pokemon. But uh, yeah, this is... Uh, this is what we pull. So um, I'm not disappointed in the pulls. I'm just disappointed that uh, I didn't get a chance to do the paint parallels. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to do them because I've already spent money on this stuff. So, you know, I can't keep, you know, uh, <laughs> spending uh, money constantly. You know, I do have responsibilities, do have things to take care of. And, um, you know, I did let the seller know that, you know, this was not the paint parallels, but thank you very much, you know. So I did let him know that. Um, I didn't give him a negative. I gave him a positive because, you know, I did get this stuff, but I told him that, you know, these are not the purple shocks. So hopefully he'll be able to change, you know, the, uh, the photographs or whatever. And, you know, hopefully he'll get that sorted out you know so that way it would prevent him from getting uh a negative review or whatever because you have people that are looking for specific parallels or specific cards and they have them but it's totally different so but uh there we go pulled an auto and we pulled a mem, mem card so that is cool i do dig that so um, thank you guys for watching, man. Appreciate you guys. And like I said, thank you for the new subscribers. Um, I wish I could have did the pink parallels, but um, things don't always go according to plan. And that's, for me personally, is very upsetting. And I just, like this stuff is, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes when it comes to putting these videos together and just getting my thoughts together to be able to, show you or share my hobby and what I pull because I do love collecting football cards. I watch football, you know, the chance, the times, whenever the chance I get, hopefully this, this season, I will definitely be, uh, watching a lot of games because there are players that I am very interested in that I want to see play and see how, how good they progress. Um, how well they play, how much time they get on the field. So, um, I am looking forward to this season and, uh, yeah, man. But uh, other than that, um, I have to figure out what else I'm going to do as far as the next video. I do have an idea of a video that I want to do. Um, hopefully, uh, you guys will get to see that. And as far as any type of retail of optic, I was hoping that they would release the mega boxes. I don't know if they will do it uh, this week or next week. I know in late June, it's supposed to get the hobby boxes, which I will not get because I can't afford it. But uh, we'll see what happens, man. I know 
Don Ross clearly is out. I'm not sure if I want to get those because they are overpriced. It wasn't like last year where they were like over, um, I think they were like close to 200, like 175. I know at my local LCS it was 175, but, uh, you know, now they want, you know, over, uh, 250 to close to, uh, 300, which is, uh, pretty steep for, you know, just four packs. So, but we'll see, you know, gotta see what I can do to get the channel, keep the channel going. And like I said, uh, welcome to the new subscribers. Appreciate you guys. Thank you to the old subscribers. Thank you everybody for watching this video and just listen to me ramble on and just explaining the situation. But I hope you guys enjoyed this rip overall. And if anything, man, um, I catch you guys on the next video and appreciate you guys as always. All right. Peace.